Yo, what is this? <laughs> I started going live and I didn't even turn my cameras on. Like a noob. Ooh, oh my goodness. I'm having a hard time today. What the heck? I gotta go into the thing and turn off that stupid reaction guy. Every single time. Where are we? Where's the, how do I find it? How do I, how do I do it? How do I, where is it? Engagement? Details? Yo, uh, Zezel beat you, Dark. What's up, Lazy Engineer? Where the heck- I- how come every single time I can't remember where that thing is? What's up, Mr. Oddity? Oh, I found it. I turned it off. Okay. Begone! Okay, 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 okay. Also, I have a pimple today. It's actually, I think it's not that visible on camera, but I got one of those like patches on it. I, maybe I should have picked a patch that was a brighter color. Also, we working out in Stompies because it's an upper body day anyways, and I'm still trying to like, I don't know. If you saw, I posted on literally every other fucking social media platform that I got these new shoes and I'm trying to make them comfortable to walk around in. Thank you, bruh. Yeah, we're stomping it out. I can't even tell. Can you hear it when I stomp or is it cutting it out? You can hear it a little bit. Maybe I should just do... I need some... Is the music too loud or is it okay? I feel like it's kind of loud, but it's hard for me to tell. Oh my god. Ah, oh, man. Fucking... Just knocked off the tip of my, my chapstick. Music is fine? Okay. You can hear the Goomba stompies? Damn. Did my shoulders get wider? It's possible? I am back on SARMs, but I have been for a couple weeks. But I've also been, since I got back from the Arnold, eating too much. So maybe I'm actually building muscle. Who knows? Who can say? Happy Thursday, J Corsair. So, it's possible. I'm feeling, well, I say that. I'm not feeling, I'm saying, I was about to say I'm feeling a little bloated. But then my abs are visible on camera, so that's probably, I shouldn't. The, the Arnold was nice. I am working on a vlog. I was supposed to be cutting, though. That's the thing. I was supposed to be cutting, and then I kind of stopped. I'm not going to say I'm going through a mental health crisis because it's not a crisis, but I think my mental health has been a little down lately, so I'm making up for it with food. The Arnold was fun. I'm working on a vlog. I hope that I can get it out by Thursday. I'm not sure because it's going to be really long. It's taking me a long time to edit. Um, But it was fun. It was chill. Like, the way that I enjoy the Arnold is to observe a lot of random sports. I don't really like to, um, I don't really like to wait in line to see celebrities or like influencers. And I don't pay to go to the big bodybuilding show because it would make more sense to just pay to watch the video that has like, where you can see stuff better. <laughs> But 
I had a good time. I ate a lot of good food. Columbus, Ohio actually has a really good food scene. They have a lot of really good food in the area. It is Thursday. But yeah, vlog will be coming to the YouTube channel eventually, hopefully on Tuesday, but we'll see. We'll see how it goes. Is it? It's like, it's like more yellow in person. What's up, Anna? It's lemon lime flavor. What was my favorite random sport? So I felt like, I mean, I think that Arnold is still coming back from like the pandemic. By the way, this is supposed to be a pool day workout. I don't know how I keep ending up on a pool day for the streams, but like if we don't really get to the workout, that's totally okay. It, this is more the, the live streams are more for like community and hanging out. So like if chat is like not really chatting, I'll do my workout. But if we're having like a good time and like talking about stuff, especially if we're like talking about like fitness topics, I'm happy to just like hang out and not really get my workout in. So anyways, so I have been to the Arnold a few times in the past, I think like two or three times before the pandemic, and it was pretty big. And I felt like when I went this year, it was not as big as I remembered, like there was not as much going on as I remembered. But some of the random sports that they had going on, they had foosball, they had arm lifting, which is like a grip strength competition. I saw, oh shit, what is it called? Uh, ma mass wrestling, mass wrestling, M A S wrestling, which is like another sort of grip strength thing. Basically, I don't, it's hard to explain. Basically, there's like a board on the floor going like this. It's like up and down, and there's one person on each side of the board, and they sit kind of like this with their feet on it and they are holding on to a stick and they're like it's kind of like tug of war they're pulling back and forth trying to like um pull the other person either over or towards them i think it seems like very popular in like it was some kind of like eastern european country what's up urban prince yeah, the the moss wrestling. I'm not sure how to pronounce it. It looked really interesting, but it was a it was like very tucked away. Um, what's so what did I say? Oh, there was Thai boxing, which is like Muay Thai kickboxing. They had a lot of that going on the whole weekend. They had, of course, they had power lifting, um, weight lifting, equipped power lifting. You know where they have like those really <laughs> What's up, Daya? Um, bodybuilding. They had like curling only bicep curls, like strict bicep curls. Um, oh, medieval fighting. They had medieval fighting. Strong man, of course. I almost forgot strong man. Um, yeah, a lot of fun stuff. Gymnastics cheer and cheerleading but i think those were only for like children children's gymnastics and cheerleading what else i think that might have been it yeah yeah a lot of stuff oh yeah oh i said the muay thai i forgot they have the bjj which i did not check out <coughs> no it, it's like You'll see in the vlog, like for real, for real, like what it was, but it's like, like with swords mostly. So they had um, medieval fighting. You're like fully armored in metal armor. And then they had like sabers. They also had like a sword and a buckler. They had sword and shield. They had great sword, like a two handed sword. And then they had a five on five competition. So it was like five well there was men's five on five and then i think there was also a women's three on three 
And in the, the group fights, people could have like axes and maces. And I think they also had, I didn't see them doing it, but I think they also had spears maybe. But yeah, so it was basically like a duel when it was like one on one. It was basically like a duel. There was no horses involved. But that was pretty fun. For me personally, I thought one of the most interesting competitions was the arm lifting, which is like grip strength training, like I said. They, I think the way that they do it is they have three different implements per competition and they have weight classes. So what I saw people doing was they had to deadlift um, and the and the bar they had to deadlift was like a three by four block. So it was like a deadlift bar, but like you pick it up like this. And then I also saw actually I was inspired to get some grip strength tra training things. So I got this. But they also had a competition where they, it was kind of like this, but the handle was going up and down. And there was, they must have done something else that I missed out on. You, show, show, talk about swords and men doing a five on five. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah, I was inspired to work on my grip strength a little bit. So actually I picked that up. And we also, ouch, oh, I just hit my hand. We went to the Rogue retail store and we bought this bench, which I showed y'all last week anyways, but yeah, this grip strength thing came in this week. I have a 25 pound weight on it and I bought this handle and it's like a fat handle that rolls. I don't know if you can really tell. Yeah, it is a nice bench. It's way better than the old bench. So what I do with this, so I don't really use it on pull days because I'm already using my hands a lot, but for sometimes on leg days or sometimes on push days, my upper body push days, I just like, I just hold this for like 15 or 20 seconds at a time. I know. I honestly like, I super neglect my grip because I mean, I don't really deadlift anymore, but when I was deadlifting, I was mostly using straps. So I think this is maybe a good idea. It's pretty, um, it's definitely tiring. I can tell that my hands are getting tired, but I think the, I think the limiting factor for me right now is my hands and not so much my forearms. What's up, RKO? because I can feel my hands getting really tired and my hands will be sore afterwards, but I won't feel so much in my forearms. I'm doing good, how are you? I have also been doing a little bit of like stuff with the dumbbells. This is just like in between stuff. So sometimes I'll just do like these or the other way. Some stuff happened for you, Mr. Adi. Sorry to hear that. Yeah, you gotta work on improving your grip. The thing is, like for me, it's an aesthetic thing. I'll be real with you. I don't really care if I can lift that much. Yeah, yeah, for sure. I, I, I usually will just like chill out and just like go like this. <laughs> and then this way too, but um yeah you started incorporating the one two grip training exercises three a week and you're seeing improvements already what does that mean what's what's up land down plunder trying to work on yourself i mean it'd be like that bro it's like you should kind of think about you're not always gonna go up 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 right you might go up a little bit and then, you know, have a little bit of setback, but hopefully the overall trend is like, up, you know, 
Friends made a sudden plan to go trekking and it was so hot during the afternoons that your muscles hurt. Damn, bro. Hate to see it. Um, yeah. So, I'm not gonna lie. I saw Lean Beef Patty IRL. What's up, Jerrica? Oh, you just mean a one or two grip exercise? Oh, gotcha, gotcha. Pretty good. Woke up not too long ago. At first it was okay, but now you're at home resting. It's hitting hard, bro. Clenching the moosleys. Yeah. A lot of times, like, you won't feel sore until the day after. I mean... I'm not sure what I want to say about that. I, I saw her, but I did not, like, approach her. She was doing, like, meetups at different booths, and I didn't want to wait in line. She is very swole IRL. Her arms are really big. They look really big in person. She's very small, though. I actually looked it up afterwards. She's only, like, 5'3". So, but her arms look really big. Yeah, Lean Beef Patty was at the Arnold. There was other people there that I recognized from like Instagram, but I don't know. I don't think I follow them. I think I've seen them maybe like on my explore feed or something. <laughs> yeah. Small but swole. Yeah, her arm her arms were like noticeably big. So like I feel like I don't know. It's hard it's hard for me to say because I'm sure I have a little bit of like dysmorphia about it. Like not not in a in a bad way or anything, but like when I look at myself, if I'm not actively flexing, I don't feel like I look muscular at all. Like when I look at my arm, it just it looks like kind of big but not muscular. Um but when I saw her just sitting there, her arms were like noticeably muscular. There was actually somebody from Twitch that did recognize me that I don't think that they knew that I was going to the Arnold because I didn't talk about it too much except here, which it was kind of like, it was surprising. <laughs> You're drinking some thick, spicy tomato soup and you think it's helping? That's good. Yeah. Um, I mean, I think that in general, lean beef patty stays pretty lean all year round. What's up, Knight? She's definitely way leaner than I am. I'm probably like, um, I'm probably around 20% body fat. I would not be surprised if she's around 16 or lower. Her memes are fun. Yeah, she's the, the meme lord. Can't call yourself lean beef and not be lean. That's true, I guess. I mean, it could be like you eat lean beef. I don't, I'm not sure how often she actively cuts, but she is, I would say generally pretty lean. At some point, you know, I think she's probably been working out for quite a while. At some point, it doesn't make as much sense to do like big bulking and cutting. So she's, you know, if she is like bulking, it's going to be like long and like not gain a lot of fat. So it's probably not as noticeable as like me who just goes off the wall. She just mainly main gains. Yeah, I'm not surprised. Bruh. Joey's good. Joey's fine. Cats. Whew. Cats. Cats have been doing cat things. I gave Totoro a shower yesterday. He's very soft right now. He was not happy about the shower, but he like he took it like a champ. He only screamed a little bit. Um, so uh, I think it was Sunday. Whatever day is daylight savings time. Mafik 
had an incident with his butthole. So that was like a whole thing. But he's fine now. It was like a, yeah, it was like a big old deal. I found two stray cats in your building. They were yelling a lot last night, so you gave them some cat food, and then <laughs> they're not ready to leave the area. It'd be like that, bro. This is what you got. You got to be careful about feeding animals. Yeah, I think that, so this is my theory. You know, this is going to be a lot of cat TMI. I'm telling you now, this is going to be a lot of cat TMI. My theory is that Mafik had a little bit of a blockage. You know, it's it's getting warmer out and the cats are shedding more. And oh, is that you don't want to hear about it? Is that what you're saying? It's okay, you don't want to hear about it. Where'd my rubber band go? Suffice to say there was a lot of cleanup. Oh, you, you want me to tell you? Okay, so I think Mafik had a blockage. My theory is that he had a blockage because it's summer, they're shedding more, and, you know, cats lick themselves, and they end up eating a lot of their own hair. <laughs> so I think that that's what caused the blockage. He was having a hard time pooping. You're going to head out. Okay, see you later, Mr. Oddity. He was having a hard time pooping. And instead of like getting out the poop, he just ended up squeezing out like poop juice. And he literally all over the house, bro. It was a mess. Just like little drops of like poop juice all over the house. So, and this was, not only was this daylight savings day where we lost an hour, he also woke us up super early because he was licking his asshole in bed with us and joey woke up because he smelled the poop so we like jump out of bed we're like fucking groggy as hell running around the house trying to clean shit up like literally trying to clean shit up and then on top of that i think that you know he licked his own butthole and then made himself throw up so there was like fucking throw up all over the place too it was a lot. It was a lot of cleanup. And obviously he was not feeling good. So he was, you know, we were worried about him. Just poop everywhere. I had to do a bunch of laundry. Had to fucking sanitize, like, everything. I threw him in the, the first floor bathroom. Just the toilet room. And he chilled in there for, like, the whole afternoon. Because he, like, it was taking him a while to, to get through it. And then I had to help him. I had to help him get it going, but eventually he, 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 he got worked out. It was, it was, and you know, Sunday is my content making day and I was just not up for it. So I also had to like, I didn't have to do this, but I decided that I'm going to be doing less stuff on my fan sites because I'm just having a hard time keeping up with it. You know, when, when my schedule is very regular, you know, when I don't have a lot of events, I can keep up with like the way that I was posting pretty easily. But it's like when one thing happens, you know, I had the Arnold and obviously I couldn't make content. I have a really difficult time like making stuff in advance. It's because it's a lot to do. And I, it's hard to like, it's very draining stuff to do I guess physically I find it draining like all the posing and stuff like that that shit hurts your back right yeah exactly so I decided that I'm gonna do less and I reduced the price of my subscription sites and I told everybody I made an announcement I was like hey I can't keep this up so we're doing less I'm still gonna make content but it's not gonna be on the same same level if you want to stay whatever did it get banned in the US? I don't know, because I feel like I can still use TikTok. I haven't like logged in in a long time, but like I'm still there. That's gonna be really shitty for a lot of creators. Gotcha.
they have X amount of days to sell to a US corporation or remove access. Damn. How does like, how does selling to a US corporation change anything? Maybe I'm stupid. It's still banned where you are. Yeah. It's not banned yet. They're, they are at the step where they're trying forced data delivery. Gotcha. I don't, I don't know what to say about all that. I honestly, like, I feel, I, okay. I feel bad. I'm trying not to feel bad. This is the thing, right? I think that it be personal data will be under us jurisdiction instead of being sent to China. Right. That's what the whole thing is about. And quite frankly, it's BFs. We're doing the same thing to them. Everyone thinks Chinese government sus collects messages with users data. Isn't every government sus though, but it's whatever. I, I don't know. I'm totally ignorant of the politics, if I'm honest. I struggle personally, I struggle with guilt around like posting and stuff like that because I feel like I should be posting for the people that are following me, for like my supporters and stuff like that. And then I feel bad when I don't post. And then when I, when I feel bad, it makes me not want to use the platform at all. So honestly, I have not really been on TikTok that much at all lately. So I have no idea what's going on. I will also say I, it makes me really mad when I go into TikTok and it tries to force me to let everybody message me. And I literally do not want anyone to message me unless we're IRL friends. So it's, I find it really frustrating to like even get onto the app at all. So I literally like, just like have not been using it like at all, which is bad because I mean, it's not bad, it's fine, but I could be using it. I, I, I was doing, I think, I don't think I was doing too much. I think I liked the amount of content I was making for my fan sites, but Unfortunately, it's not sustainable when I have a full-time like day job and I'm also trying to have a social life outside of doing things on the internet. Like that's kind of like what it's coming down to. Like when I have to dedicate an entire day to content creation to be able to like produce the same amount of content every week then I don't have time to like see friends or, you know, stuff like that. And it's, it's like hard to maintain, unfortunately. Yeah. Everyone literally collects and sells user data. You hate that it forces you to watch things after you swipe by it pops back up. Really? I don't think I've had that issue. Thank you, RKO. Yeah. I mean, my work is the same. So I, I got a promotion and I got a pay increase, but my work has not really changed. I'm not sure if it's going to change in the future. What's up, Sega? Yo. Um, but I do have, and here's another thing. I have a, a work event coming up. It's not really a work event. There's an event happening that I have to work for. And I'll be working all weekend next weekend right so if i'm working literally all weekend like when do i have time to make content yeah i did thank you thank you hey what's up hotep welcome in it's going pretty good going good today just hanging out chatting um yeah so it is yeah it really is work-life balance is hard i've also like i i do really want to like put more it's like i only have so much time in the week to put towards content creation things and i've been having i've been finding more enjoyment in making youtube videos right so i'm i also would like to like not have to worry so much about fan site stuff and and do more with that just got a notice tuesday that your service will cover costs regarding your shoulder injury 
And if it's still being shitty in November, you might get even more stuff done. Nice. That's awesome. Yeah, I did get a pay increase, which is nice. I, well, I feel, I don't know. See, I'm worried that they're going to like try to get me to do more work. I don't know. The thing is that like the promotion was very, for me, it was very out of left field. My boss kept hinting that something was coming and I honestly did not see a promotion coming. So I, I am unionized. My thing is unionized. So I already get a small pay increase every year. So like, I'm not worried about like climbing the corporate ladder. I've never cared about that. I'm not ambitious when it comes to like my day job. I, I don't know. I really like did not want to be promoted. I really just like doing my job, just being, being just like sit and type in at like, I don't really want more responsibility. So like, I'm not mad about the pay, but I don't want to like, I don't want my whole life to be my work. I just want to log in, do my thing and then fuck off. I mean, I don't mind working overtime as long as it's paid and it's not, you know, when it's around events that only happen every few months, like I don't mind that. But if I have to like work more or have like more responsibilities like every single day like i'm not really into that i would rather not have the promotion if i'm honest like to 100 to keep it real with you like joey and i are not like really hurting for money i didn't need this promotion to live my life and i would really rather not have it <laughs> if it means i have a lot more responsibility especially like I, I am in a, a situation at work where I don't want upper management to look at me too closely because of a, it's a weird tax situation. So I really don't want people like checking out what I'm doing. I'd rather just like be really chill about it. I know you're, you're trying to get that, um, bartending job, which I think is very interesting. I don't think that I could do something like that, but I think I can see it for you. Do I have an LLC? Me personally? No, I do not. I just file my taxes as like uh, a regular person. Your sister feels similarly about her work and that she observes her boss that sleeps like five hours a day and works like six or seven days a week, even on vacation. And you want to be like that? Yeah. So my boss is also kind of like that, but I think that he likes it. I think that my boss is a workaholic and is like super into deals. But at the same time, I don't think it's healthy. I actually like my boss quite a bit. I like most of the people on my team. What's up, Owen? Thank you for the lurk. Trap's looking good. Thank you. You know what? I really, I've been trying to practice. It's really difficult to like, I want to be able to like switch between like a lat spread to a trap flex and back. It's really hard to go from traps to back. I can go like back to traps pretty easy. Something I've been practicing. It's like, it's like the lats get stuck on the way back. For whatever reason i think also this is a new bra it was on sale so i i i bought it because i like the company but it also like cuts into my traps pretty bad i'm a tra i'm a traps former <laughs> that's like your work nine to ten hours a day six days a week yeah but that's a lot there's a hair in my drink i i don't want to do that i did that for a while not at this job when i was younger I did that for a different job and it was like too much. I can't, I can't live that. I just want to be a grunt. I just want to come into work, do my job and then leave. Are they? I feel like they don't look that crazy. I don't know. I think I'm, I'm, I was at the Arnold not too long ago 
and there was a lot of really big, really jacked people um, struggling with my body image, and that's okay. Oh my God. With a drive, at least, at least, you know, if you work from home, you can just get off and you do whatever the fuck. Two hour drive there and back, that's terrible. Like, I don't, I'm not trying to like quit. I don't want to quit. I like this job. I like my job. I want to stay at this job. I just like, I don't want more responsibility. I literally just want the job that I have and nothing more. With my stompies. Um, no, actually, Joey only drives about an hour now. He was doing like a two hour drive before. Um, but that location like completely shut down. So he's not. He usually only drives about an hour. Joey's actually studying to get his license in DC. Obligatory chest split. Wait, don't don't look at my nips. Um, if he can get, if he can get his DC license, then he can get an office job, which he's been liking more than working in the actual pharmacy. Work from home, but company seniors want the so-called youth and the young people to work more hours from, yeah, that's totally bullshit, bro. That's so, that's so dumb. If you're like, if you get the exact same amount of work done in the office as you do at home like people should be able to do it from home i for me i literally don't understand why people why companies want to force people to come to an office space it's like you know you could have less people, have only necessary people come to the office and then get rid of that office space and save money. You want to see me working? What does that mean? <laughs> like, do, do they not understand that if there's nobody in the office, they don't have to pay for the office? They could just sell it. Why don't they sell it? Why don't they turn it into like housing? I don't know. I don't understand it. Maybe I'm stupid. Oh, oh. It's boomer think. It's boomer think. Yeah, I just like, I don't, I don't, I just don't really understand it. They could sell the real estate though. That's, the, that's what I'm saying. Like, they could sell the real estate and make money. That's what I'm saying. Don't understand it's our problem if they can't sell. I'm saying what, like, they could turn it into other stuff. Like, it doesn't have to be an office building. No, this is, um, these are BCAAs. Skyvation is the brand. <laughs> If you, if you actually care about like what this is, I mean, like, I don't, you know, it's, it's one thing if you're asking about it, I don't know if you're actually interested in buying or whatever, but in the description of this video, I have left a link. I think it says something like supplements that I use and like, and it goes to Amazon and you can find this in there. It's the Skyvation brand BCAAs. It's like, I would say it's like a recovery drink. It's not gonna help you build muscle, but it might help you recover a little bit faster. I don't think it has any calories. It tastes kind of good. So I enjoy drinking it, but I have no like, a lot of people will say like BCAs are like a waste of money. I don't feel like that is because I, for me, anecdotally, there is a noticeable difference in my recovery time when I am taking it and when I'm not taking it. 
it's worth it to me. I don't even know what sort of mortgages they have on them or break the leases. That's true. They can turn it into a chicken wing joint and people finally have a reason to visit. Oh my God. That's what I'm saying. Like it doesn't EAAs are better. I have not tried EAAs. Maybe when I run out, maybe I should try the EAAs and, and see if I notice a difference. I have literally been taking Skyvation BCAAs for like years. Does Skyvation have it? Let me check. What's up, Spenzo? I'll have to look later. Your sister said her boss got in a somewhat of a big argument about suddenly being at the office at 8 o'clock every day, even though the boss knows that your sister's kids and going to... Oh, your sister and her boss got into an argument because she had to be at the office at 8 a.m. every day, but the boss knows that that's when she has to have the kids at daycare. Is that what you're saying? Important part of BCAAs are the EAAs, but within BCAAs, it gotcha. Okay. No, it's, I don't think there's electrolytes. I'd have to look. I'm not gonna, I can't bring up my Amazon page because I'll be doxxed, but I can look. Okay. I don't think there's electrolytes in it. <laughs> Says there's L-glutamine, glutamine, 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 aminos. Yeah. I don't know if there's electrolytes. Free of banned substances. Look, bro, give me the banned substances. I do not take pre-workout, although I usually have a diet soda with caffeine before the stream. Most of the giant office spaces are where most of the company's money actually are because property taxes are cheaper than like having to pay taxes on actual money. Interesting. So it's all a scam. Gotta <laughs> do it for the gluta meme. Sister then told me, like, boss, if you want to fire me, give me a package and I'm going to peace out. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. That's, that's some, that's some, that's some queen shit right there. I kind of like that. That's pretty cool. You like my journal video? Thank you, bro. I appreciate you. Thank you for watching it. <laughs> yeah, I posted a, another journal video on Tuesday. Uh, a catch-up, a uh, flip-through. I think I need to, like, I have to kind of keep... <laughs> Life is a scam, bro. That's not even, like, Kappa. That's, like, totally true. Life is a scam. Um, At this time, it's not really possible for me to make more than one YouTube video a week. So I kind of think that I need to keep my planner videos down to like once a month to make room for like other stuff. Wish you could put in comments back then. What do you mean? Cause I also want to, I have some like plant things that I want to do and then fitness adjacent things that I want to do and vlog things that I want to do. I don't know. It's just so much stuff to do and so little time. And I actually have to sleep and I have to work out, you know, and I have to like cook food. I have to like take care of the house. Maybe I need to start hiring a cleaner. So I got a plant while I was at the Arnold. You'll see it in the vlog when the vlog goes up eventually. But I also ordered some plants online that should be coming in soon. And I want, I'll do like a video of that. I'll do a haul. It's only four small plants. So it'll probably be a pretty short and easy video. Luckily. Um, lately, I've just been, did I, I told you all I got a new phone, right? I got the Google Pixel 8 Pro. I have literally been used. 
sorry, I keep burping. I've literally been using it for everything, to film everything. Um, but I think that I might need to, I'm not sure if I can literally just plug this Rode wireless mic directly into here and use it, but I might have to start doing that because sometimes the audio is a little squirrely. I also need to buy a portable SSD to take. I'm hoping it comes on sale. I need to buy a portable SSD to take to Japan. It depends. I didn't look it up to see if I could do that. No. Well, the thing is, it's got a USB. What is that? USB-C, but this plugs in with USB-C. So to like plug this into the computer, it's USB-C. This is USB-C and the, and the port is USB-C. So it might work. I think I need to Google it. Because yeah, some of the, some of the audio, when I just use my phone, is not the greatest. It's like, honestly, it's not terrible, but it could be better. So that's the only, that's the only thing I'm having problems with. Back during COVID lockdown, you used to grow some tomatoes and chilies and some basic vegetables on your balcony, but then later rats started messing up. So you had to stop. Damn, that's annoying. Sometimes I think about growing some tomatoes, but then I'm like, that's going to be a lot of work. I don't know the charge port works though. You think it might be like mine. You had to buy a specific adapter. Gotcha. I'll have to check. I need to Google it. So I had to do, I did a deep dive Google today to see that if I could, the thing, okay. So I like to pack light when I travel, I like to pack light and I was like really blown because I thought that I would need to take a laptop with me to Japan in order to take my vlog content off of my phone and put it somewhere else because basically the phone would fill up really fast. But I found out that the portable SSD should work. I should be able to not have to use any other device, just take it from the phone into the SSD. Really like working on growing some veggies, but with crazy work schedule and building issues. Yeah, be like that. You tried to grow tomatoes, but you only grew three, three individual tomatoes. Yeah, I will for sure. I will definitely. I'm just, I'm hoping that it comes on sale first because I've seen it. It's, it's one that we recommend at Wirecutter, right? So obviously I know when it comes on sale. So I'm hoping between now and May, it comes on sale a little bit. So I don't have to pay like $300. So I do know that I can plug this into my computer and offload stuff. Like that's easy. I tested it. It works. I bought a special cable for like data transfer and it works great. So, but if I can like not do that, yeah. So. I wish that I could. Well, here's the thing. When I take a lot of video, it doesn't upload to Google. My Google drive fast enough is the problem. I have to like, it literally will take days over the cloud to try to get everything off of my phone. So even like the weekend I went to the Arnold, when I got back, it still was not done putting everything on the cloud. So that's why I just like use the cable because it's faster. You know, if I need to get the stuff off quickly, I have to use the cable. It just doesn't, doesn't do it fast enough because it's trying to do it over Wi-Fi. And I'm not trying to like pay a thousand dollars in like data fees. Yeah, you definitely need a garden. 
You always want to grow a couple of bonsai plants. They look so cool. You can, the thing about bonsai is that like you can, you can grow them in your home if you have a good amount of light, right? Um, and you can buy them already established. You just have to take care of them after that. But I do think that they require some amount of maintenance and I have not really done much research into bonsai plants. So I'm not sure like what it entails. I think it, the thing about the bonsai is like, you don't want it to grow too big. So you have to keep it trimmed down really small. And like, I don't think that it lives in soil. I think maybe it lives in like rocks and sand because you don't want it to spread out too much yeah yeah it's not like it's not the kind of plant that you just let grow wild you literally have to like keep it a certain size but yeah so like if if i really didn't want to yeah, basically I'll be in Japan for too long that I won't be able to do everything on my phone without offloading some of the footage. So we're gonna be there for like 20 days. And if I'm taking like a lot of video, like I have to like get stuff off of my phone. I don't have enough space. Yeah, no, it would literally, it would literally just turn into a regular bush or a tree. It wouldn't be a bonsai anymore. Like you, you can make a lot of different stuff into bonsai, right? I've seen people take like an ivy plant and turn it into a bonsai looking tree, but it literally takes years to grow it in that manner. I feel like there, I think that there are some vegetables that you can grow in your house. Want to grow herbs and there's a fish tank that grows them? That'd be cool. I don't have Telegram. I don't really want to get Telegram if I'm honest. I think the file sizes are pretty big. I have to look. Forty six MB for really short ones, but sometimes they're longer. I know I just really don't want it. <laughs> I know that it's popular. I tell you, I get so many, not so many every once in a while I get spam on fansly where people will message me and be like hey babe i would love to send you tons of money but fansly won't let me so here's my telegram number send me a message right now i have to go i'll talk to you later and then they delete their account and i'm just like makes me not want to use telegram yeah, yeah. Ba bonsai can be made from basically almost any tree or bush. And honest, I'm telling you, I saw somebody literally make a bonsai out of an ivy plant and it looked really cool because it ended up looking like a tree, like the stem of it didn't have any leaves on it and looked like a tiny tree. Bro, that's literally that's literally how I imagine them typing. You and you can tell it's a copy paste. It's a it's a copy pasta because like um, what's up, hero? <laughs> I've seen people like literally copy the same thing like multiple times into the message. And I'm like, come on, man, you didn't even try. They do that on WhatsApp too. I, de I deleted WhatsApp because nobody I know uses it really. You missed the last YouTube stream. You can always go watch it. It's always there if you want to like watch it. But I don't even remember what we talked about. We're just hanging out. I love Japanese maples. I love Japanese maples. I really wanted one for our backyard, but realistically, if it grew too big, I didn't want the roots to go into the foundation of the house. So I was like, I probably shouldn't do that.
you're getting one. I love Japanese maples. You have one in your front yard. I love Japanese maples. They are so stinking cute. I love them. It's mango season. But do you have do you have the yellow mangoes or the red and green mangoes? I think the anime the McDonald's anime stuff is at all McDonald's. We literally stopped at a McDonald's on the way back from the Arnold in the middle of nowhere, Pennsylvania, and they had the anime collab. I think it's literally just a sauce and like branding on the on the packaging. It's not, it's not like super special. One of my coworkers said that he tried the sauce and it was pretty good. It's like a savory chili sauce. You have this record for no. I when it comes to like long form video and live streaming content I am only using YouTube. Oh, it's like a whole pop-up event. That's pretty cool. I want only native plants in your garden, and I wonder if you can have wild strawberries. I mean, probably. You probably could, as long as it was like, obviously, like you said, the, the one that's native. Was it? It was Washington Pa. <laughs> it was Washington Pa that we went to, yes. The GPS always says Washington Pa, but I think it's really supposed to be Washington, Pennsylvania. The cheese is under the sauce. I love filet of fish, man. That's like, that's been like my favorite thing ever at McDonald's lately. What you gotta do is you have to like, if you order the double filet of fish, I think that they have to make it for you fresh because they don't have those sitting around because it's kind of like a weird order. It's like not normal. Pro tip. Who? I can't remember who said. Somebody said that they always order french fries without salt because they have to make them fresh because all their french fries that are already sitting there have salt on them. Should I just do arms again today? My arm actually is pretty sore. Maybe I should do triceps instead. But you put your own salt on after. I've never had in and out actually. I've never had in and out. Yeah, you, the thing, you order them without the salt so you get them fresh, but then you put your own salt on it. Like, that's the strat. That's why Five Guys is more expensive, because they cook everything there for you fresh. <coughs> I'm, I am, tell me, okay. Am I the serial killer? I like the fries that have been sitting around because I like really greasy like limp dick fries like i don't like crispy french fries i like greasy limp dick french fries am i the serial killer One hundred percent zodiac serial kill serial killer. <laughs> it's just a cooked preference. I don't know, man. <laughs> Maybe I'll do. I don't know. If we're just chatting, I won't fucking work out. I'm gonna pretend to work out. <laughs> but it it it's a weird. It's a it's a weird take though, right? For sure. You don't want them next day, but you'll still eat them. I like next day fries. Although sometimes I put them in a pan, so at least they're warm. 
McDonald's has peri peri sauce, so good. Isn't that the Portuguese sauce? What, you say next day fries are you? As a person who worked at McDonald's, that is correct. You would have to make a whole new batch and clean the fry area. Yeah, it's definitely a dick move. But if you want fresh hot fries, that's what you gotta do. I don't condone the ordering of fresh hot fries. If you're going to McDonald's, you should accept the fries that have been sitting out. Oh, it's not a sauce. It's a spice mix powder. Oh, interesting. You like the crispy chicken sandwich? I'm all about the filet of fish. Fish filet, filet of fish. That's what I'm all about. But lately, there was a long time that I didn't eat checkers, which is also called rallies in some places. I think it depends on where you live. I'm all about the checkers baconzilla. Like that shit is like fucked up. If the drive through girl sounds hot, I'll order it. Fresh cooked fries, no salt, and spin in them if you want. Wow. <laughs> Give you a paper bag with it called the Shake Shake Bag. You're supposed to put the fries and the spice mix in the bag and shake it till everything is covered. I, they have a thing like that in Japan for chicken, for like convenience store fried chicken. Did I mention that Ariel is confirmed going with us to Japan? She's only going to be there for a week. It, yeah, it's rallies for you, just like Carl's Jr. and Hardy's. So wait, wait a second. I don't I think we have Hardy's where I live. Extra fries, extra pickles, extra body fluid, extra tomatoes, extra cum. <laughs> She'll be like, uh, I don't really want to make new fries. That's a lot of work. But you get to spit in them. Say less, fam. Seen some reels about it, about the chicken in Japan. And a Diet Coke. Look, you know, I'll be real with you. Okay, look, we ha we got to talk about, we got to, we got to talk about this, right? I think we need to talk about this. I used to be that guy to be like, man, you just fucking ate McDonald's. Why the hell did you bother getting a Diet Coke? And then I started tracking my calories and ordering the zero calorie drink makes a huge difference. Like you could replace your full calorie sugary soda with a diet soda and get the same amount of calories worth of fries what what would you choose right would you choose to eat a full sugar soda or another thing of fries i would rather get the diet soda and eat more food so don't don't hate on people for getting the zero calorie sodas what do you mean diet soda ain't a marketing ploy? Diet soda is just diet soda. It's just less, it's like just less sugar. It's less calories. Yeah, diet sodas are totally okay. But no, it, it's totally a thing. It's, I'm talking about, look, I'm not gonna, it's, if we're asking about our diet soda is going to fuck you up and give you cancer. I, I don't even want to talk about that. I, I, it's whatever. I don't even want to talk about that. I'm talking about the judgment that comes from somebody eating high calorie food and then a zero calorie drink. Because I used to be that person that was judging people for doing that. And then I started counting my calories. And I don't drink my calories, I eat more food. You think the name diet soda is kind of weird, but actually getting them and drinking them is fine. That's valid. 
some some people i mean i think it comes down to taste you know some people personally you don't like the taste of the face sugar but you've also never had corn syrup you live off of no sugar sodas yes me as well i i am at the point where i can't mentally i can't really tell the difference or like i can't really taste the difference between a diet soda or a sh no sugar soda and like the real thing like i can kind of taste it but it, it doesn't bring me more pleasure to have a full sugar soda and when i drink a full sugar soda i'm kind of just like i feel like i wasted calories Exes have a better chance of ruining your life than a diet soda. <laughs> but it's like... You can tell the difference a bit, but you're sticking to your diet soda. Yeah. So like when I, when I am on vacation, I don't worry about drinking diet soda. So like when I'm in Japan, I don't specifically drink stuff that i know is no calories i might do it by accident because i can't read japanese but if i see like a regular coke i buy the regular coke but i literally i can't really taste the difference <clears throat> and honestly i don't know what they're using to sweeten their drinks in japan try that drink i told you about called thumbs up I don't even I don't even know where I would buy that. What's up, Mopar? How are you doing today? <laughs> but I think don't they use real sugar in Mexico though? It's not like corn syrup. It's like real real ass sugar. Mexican Cokes are the best, yeah. Put a pic in Discord. Uh, let me look at it and see. Where'd you put it? Or are you gonna put one later? You have to put one later. Yeah, I think Mexican Coke is known for being the best. D don't apologize for being late. Whenever you make it to the stream is the best time for you to be at the stream. <laughs> yeah, I mean, Japanese food culture is like on a different level. They they really care a lot about their food. But I also like food in America. <laughs> I don't know what the difference between Mexican Coke and European Coke is, but Mexican Coke, they use real sugar, real ass sugar. The food is loading, gotcha. Oh, I see it. I've never seen that before. I don't even know where I could buy that. I think my brother just went on vacation to Mexico. Okay. Mexican Coke and European Coke is the same. Euro Coke also uses real sugar. But I feel like it's possible that there's a difference in the recipe. You know, I think that most companies make stuff to the taste of the country. There's like a lot of... So when I was in Turkey, which was like a really long time ago, by the way. So I don't know what it's like now. When I was in Turkey... They had a like 10 different flavors of Lipton iced tea that I've never seen in my life in America. You know, they also have, there's a lot of like, I think it's, maybe it's made by Canada Dry or something. It, like one of the ginger ale soda companies in America makes a lot of other stuff in other countries that we can't get in America. They also put the Coke in Coca-Cola. Cane sugar. They specifically use cane sugar in Mexico is what you're saying, right? 
You vote that high fructose corn syrup needs to be banned? I don't really feel some type of way about the high fructose corn syrup, personally. I don't think I live in near any Indian markets anymore. Can sugar cane juice is another. What? What do you mean? Thoughts on stevia? My sugar substitute of choice is monk fruit sweetener, but it's only because that's what I can. That's like the cheapest and the best tasting option I can buy at Costco. So I use, I, I've had sugar cane juice before. I've also eaten just straight sugar cane before. It's good, I like it. In the grant, in, in like a tier list of like, um, Monk fruit sweetener is pretty expensive. So I would say in terms of taste, I prefer Splenda, but the price per volume, the monk fruit sweetener is much less expensive, at least at Costco. So that's why I get it. But like on a tier list of like sugar substitutes, stevia is not very high for me. It, I think it just like doesn't taste sweet enough. Like I, I want like, I want it to taste like fucking candy. And like, I also really dislike Zevia sodas. They just, taste awful to me. I would not waste my money on Zevia sodas. Don't like them. One single bit. What's up, Tech? I'm doing pretty good. How are you? I I don't like the aftertaste. I don't I don't think I like aftertaste in general. I want to taste it and then that's it. I want to go away. I honestly just think the Zevia sodas taste really bad. I don't like them. During the summer, popular ice cream shops make fresh mango ice creams with mango cut pieces. Bro, that sounds good as fuck. <sighs> you wanna you wanna taste things like how you wanna live your life, just there and gone, yeah. Feeling kind of sluggish, hope it passes. You're not getting sick, uh-oh. You, you gotta tell yourself that you're not getting sick. This is the thing. And if you think that you might be getting sick, go eat a really good meal. Especially if like you're in a calorie deficit or something. Like get your energy up and have like a really good meal. Like just to throw the calorie deficit out, of, out the door for the day. If I, bro, if I feel sick, I'm fucking eating whatever the fuck I want. Oh my god. Okay, you missed it. I talked about it earlier. The cats have been struggling a little this week. They're fine. They're fine. But there was some issues. Also, this is a pimple, by the way. If people are wondering what that is, it's a pimple patch. I got a pimple. They're fine now. I won't go into the gory details again. I'll save everybody. Trying to chill today, watch TV, eat a bit more. Oh, oh my God, bro. If you went skiing, I feel like, you, you know how 
I forget I forget what it's called. There's like a special special like there's a special word for it. When when you do activity in cold temperatures, it's like even more hard on your body than regular activity. So like like swimming and I would assume like skiing or like snowboarding where you're you're doing a lot of stuff but then your body is also trying to like stay warm it drains you even more so I, dr mike talked about it in a renaissance periodization video i don't specifically remember which one but he was saying like if you are are doing cardio for fat loss swimming is actually not a good idea because it will make you super hungry because you're cold cassie did most of the work but you were so tense when you go downhill it is so scary and you're probably like doing this yeah i mean take it easy and and eat and stay warm and hopefully you're not catching a cold or anything <sighs> yeah, I mean, any kind of pro athlete that spends a ton of time training is going to eat a lot and have to eat a lot to maintain their body mass. But yeah, that's probably one of the reasons why swimmers specifically have to eat a ton of calories. <laughs> I used to be a really good swimmer, but I have not been swimming in a really long time. That's what you hate about living in the South. You have to go out of the way to go skiing. There's some places to go skiing like within a couple hours of me, but I haven't been skiing in a very long time. If you didn't know, Texilla is like an actual Viking and lives where it's very cold and is going skiing with her dog. That's who Cassie is. Cassie is her dog. I, I don't think that Vaseline helps prevent the coldness, but it probably prevents like the wind from like stripping the skin off of your face. Oh, that's scary. Learning how to swim in like the ocean is like very, can be very scary. It's not really a, a, the best idea to just throw people into deep water. Um, for them to learn how to swim. Just saying. Texilla is a winter supporter and you won't support her from now on. What does that mean? You saying Tech likes the winter, so now you don't like Tech? Is that what you're trying to say right now, bro? That's how you learned how to swim? You like winter more than summer? The thought of sharks terrifies you? I mean, well, I'm saying it's definitely a thing that a lot of people do, but in my opinion, it can be very traumatic for a small child to learn to swim that way. I th think that a lot of people are being lazy because you could certainly teach somebody to swim by helping them in shallower water without just tossing them in. You just can't stand the heat. And in Norway, it never gets dark, so you can never sleep. In the summer, in Norway, it doesn't get dark because it's of the position.
<laughs> if you prefer winter over summer, you cannot support. I don't know if I, I don't think I, one thing I actually like about Maryland is that we get all the seasons. Like we have, like we have winter, summer, fall, and spring. And I don't think that I personally have like a favorite season. There's stuff I like about all of them and stuff I don't like about all of them. Your team autumn. I don't like the leaves. Better swim with a large crowd of people in order to deter the sharks. Denmark, you have, you get the sun just below the horizon for like 30 to 60 minutes in high summer. Out of nowhere, tons and tons of singing jellyfish start showing up the beach shores. That's scary, bro. Yeah, I got stung by a jellyfish once when I was a kid. I don't really remember it, but I'm sure it hurt pretty bad. Now I eat jellyfish to absorb their power. No, it's just like a thing. <sighs> You're with September? You like September? I feel like September is really fucking hot. Yeah. Jellyfish, jellyfish are kind of creepy. They look really cool, but like, I don't want to encounter in the wild. Yeah. Well, I feel like if, if it's going to be really cold, well, okay. I preface this by saying that I don't have to leave the house that much. So I would prefer if it's going to be really cold that we just have snow instead of just being really cold. I mean, I prefer snow over wet, cold rain. Like the fall the most probably, but starting to enjoy winter a bit more. Finally made a friend. She also has huskies and you guys go skiing together. I love that. That sounds wholesome as fuck. Yeah, no, I mean, driving in the snow can be super scary. I wouldn't recommend it unless you are experienced. But I mean, I also understand that sometimes you have to leave the house. I would just recommend against it if you don't have to. Right? Isn't that so cute? Oh, wait, a Medusa jellyfish? Wait, I want to see what it looks like. Ew, creepy. Let me see. Where's the images? Spooky. It's when it's worse when the sun is out and it's still freezing outside. It feels like the weather is lying to you. You spun out in your Camaro in the snow. Why were you driving? Wait, what's a Camaro look like? Why were you driving your Camaro in the snow, bruh? Come on. No, I'm just kidding. You, bro, you had to be careful though, for real. Like seriously, unless, unless you absolutely have to go out when it's snowing, you should try, try not to leave the house. But yeah, I mean, it'd be like that. I've, I've had to leave, like when I was still like working, not from home and I had to go out and I just like, bro, I'm like, I f I'm like this guy. I'm like, so on edge. Yeah. Yeah. No, I, I, I know th that a Camaro is a car, but I have a hard time differentiating between like Camaros and like Mustangs and th there's like a few cars that all kind of look the same to me. You drove one one time and it was really fun. I've never driven one. You get all the huskies together and do a sled. I think you have to have like specific training for that. I don't know if it's something you have to learn from like a young age. Did you know that Ariel's sister's dogs are trained to do sledding? Ariel's sister has three huskies, and I'm pretty sure that they are trained to like run the sled. No, I mean, like, I understand that that's what they're bred for but to be able to like 
work in unison. I'm talking more about like the mechanics of it. To work in unison with other dogs to know like the commands. Like you can't just like strap four dogs to a sled and expect them to just go in the right direction is what I'm saying. Like you train them to follow your commands and all go the same way and know how to move in the harnesses and stuff like that. You hate scraping ice from the car. Yeah, I hate waiting for the car to heat up so that you can scrape it. You know, cause you have to let it like, kind of like get a little warm. So the ice melts off. Cassie has been doing sledding. She still remembers how, but yeah, they have to train them. Normally you put the younger dogs with more experienced dogs and the leaders are also super poor. See, that's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. Importing cars from other countries is a big pain here because you have to pay for the car, for the shipping, for the registration, and the taxes. And on top of that, there's also 200% tax. That's fucked up. That's crazy. But I mean, that's whatever. What if I just like... What if I just do this while we're talking? I just hold on to it while we're talking. So at least I feel like I'm doing something. You know what? One thing I never know is like, should I try to grip it like this or should I try to do this? I don't watch The Simpsons. <laughs> Look, come on. Everybody is like making fun of my drink today. Ooh, Joey and I watched Wonder Woman. What is it, 1984? I enjoyed it. I thought it was fun. Joey... I think Joey also enjoyed it, but he was like, it's too over the top. I liked it. I think it was meant to be like more fun than some of like the more serious like DC movies. You enjoyed 1984, but it's not really as good as like the first Wonder Woman movie. We have another super rule for vehicles that all vehicle cars, bikes, trucks, etc. Have to be 100% stock, no modifications. That's what you like. That's what I'm saying. I thought it was like more fun. I thought it was like more approachable. Like it made me laugh. And like sometimes I don't want to watch like an emo Batman movie, bruh. Sometimes I just want something like more action, adventure, good times. Like it had like, you know, there was like some serious moments. Yeah, the, the fucking cameo at the end was like amazing. It was like so cool. I couldn't believe it. I was like mind blown. I would love to watch it, but I don't want to watch the 1983 movies before it. Oh my God. You watched Rebel Moon with a friend this weekend and it's probably the worst movie you've ever seen. I watched it and I didn't think it was that good, but I definitely don't think that it was one of the worst movies I've ever seen. I fully agree that it's not great, but definitely I have seen way worse movies than that. This gets hard. This gets hard really fast, actually. It's because they were trying to copy the Marvel theme and I guess it just like... Didn't appear appeal to the audience. I don't watch the Joe Rogan podcast, so no, I have not. You think it's an okay def movie? Definitely not the worst. That's that's like, that's what it was for me. It was an okay movie. I, I enjoyed watching it. I probably would not have spent money to see it in the theaters. But, like, it was fine. I've definitely seen way worse. The old Hulk movies are so good. I don't think I've watched them. You're considering watching Madam Web, but you've been hearing not great stuff about it. 
I don't, I don't know anything about Madam Web. Are you going to check out X-Men 97? I don't know anything about X-Men 97. I don't know shit about Zack Snyder, so yeah, I don't, I don't really care. Wait, what's X-Men 97? Is that coming out? Like, what's up with that? You know what? I want to see Dune. I did not realize that Dune had come out. <laughs> did we? Is this what we talked about last week? We were talking about Dune? I need to go see that. I want to see that. Madam Web is a big flop. It messed up big time. Ooh, hate to see it. Hate to see it. <laughs> Probably these days it is in complete ruins because they have no idea what kind of movies to make now except almost every movie after Avengers Endgame except Spider-Man has been a big disaster. Since the new season of the X-Men 90s cartoon. Oh, so it's just a cartoon. It's not a movie. No, don't spoil it for me. Okay, I know, I know that the books and the old movie have been out for a really long time, but my dumbass can't remember what happens, so don't say anything about it, okay? I like scary. I like scary movies. I have not seen any spoilers. I don't know anything about it. Like, don't look, don't say shit. I'm gonna ban you. You, you know what? I think I also, at one point in my life, have tried to read Dune and could not finish it. RKO. Don't. Don't make me do it. Don't make me do it. I wonder, I don't know if Joey's working tomorrow. Maybe we can see it tomorrow. If not, maybe we, maybe next week sometime. I don't know. I really want to, that's a movie I actually want to see in theaters. I don't normally go to the theaters because if I'm 100% honest, I have to pee all the time, like every hour on the hour. And it seems like a waste to go to the movie theater when I always have to get up to pee. You're trying to avoid spoilers because you want to watch it with your boyfriend next time you go to Germany or when it's available for streaming. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I'm not a big theater person. You loved it in Dune 2 when he said it's Dune 2 in time. This doesn't even make sense. Bro, this gets hard really fast. Punishing our buddy by telling him to stay for the after credits. And there was none. Wow. Is Dune in time? This gets hard. I don't get why movie theaters aren't doing... Don't have intermissions, because it's always been a thing there for the beginning. Movie theaters are great, but tickets are expensive, so he's... That, that's, I mean, that's why I also don't go, because it is expensive. Like, I won't go to see it. Like, it's got to be, like, a special movie. So, like... It's... <laughs> Dune in time. Okay, that oh, that was better. <laughs> you're oh you're trying to make fun of Morbin time. Gotcha. I think it's weird going to theaters alone, but it's much better when you go with someone else. I think it is nice to go with somebody else, but I'm the kind of person that will do stuff alone. Like if it's something that I really want to do, and I don't have anybody to go with me, I'll I'll fucking I'll do any weird shit by myself. That's like kind of irregular. Oh, you saw the Demon Slayer movie in theaters? That's awesome. One time I watched a One Piece movie in theaters. Yeah, like for me, because of how expensive it is and because I have to pee so often, I, I only go to see like certain movies. It's like movies that I really want to see on like a big screen. So like the last movie we saw in theaters was... <laughs> it's noon in time, yeah was um the spider-verse movie and when the next movie comes out i will definitely see it in theaters i think like that that movie i think needs to be in theaters because this is just like so much like going on
You're too ADHD to watch movies in theaters, even though there's so much going on in the movie? If the movie is three is over three hours long, then there should be a bathroom break. I agree. I'm I'm a fan, but only if they can time it well. Like don't if if you put it in the middle of like an action scene, that's fucked up. To think about it. You have really uncomfortable chairs in the cinema, so you hate spending three hours. Really? Bro, that stinks. Second Sp Spider-Verse movie was a visual masterpiece. That's what I'm saying. So I'm hoping the third one is just as good and I want to see it in theaters. More of a can't sit still type of ADHD. You just have to make sure, look, just try to go when it's not peak times, right? Go like during the day if you can. And then try not to sit next to anybody. So you can move around as much as you want and not bother no one. Yeah. I mean, I will pay more to go to a nicer theater that has nicer chairs. We actually have a, a theater in our area that's pretty nice that actually has like, like you can order like alcoholic drinks and they have like decent food and they have like really good chairs. So it's kind of like a newer theater. And like, I'll pay more to go to that one instead of going to like the less nice one. Usually go for movies on weekdays at odd times. That's what I'm saying. That's also what I prefer, which works out for me because I have Fridays off. I also have a small theater here with the old worn out seats and you get so numb. Oh my God, that sounds terrible. That sounds awful. Hate to see that. I think I need to get one of those pinch block things. Also to use on this. So I'm not, I don't have just the grip. So I have, so I work on my pinching. Marvel is hanging all its hopes on Deadpool 3. So it's not a machine. It's basically just... It's like a pin or it's like a long rod with a base and you put the weight on it and then you attach a handle to work on your grip strength. I was really inspired at the Arnold because they had the arm lifting competitions. And also lean beef patty has really cool forearms. A long rod. Hey, yo. Yeah, I was too close, but I can't read chat from back here. It's it's like slightly too small. I don't think I figured out how to. Did I figure out how to make the um the chat bigger? I did not. You lived here for so long. You still haven't been able to do the Arnold. Are you in, well, feel free not to dox yourself, but I'm assuming you are close to Ohio, Columbus, Ohio. It's certainly, if you can't, if you have a hard time taking off on the weekend, it would certainly be hard, hard to go. Sad that Arnold was in the chopper. I mean, you just like, you can't expect big celebrities to just be walking around on the floor of a convention, you know, even if you know that they're going to be there. Watching TikTok. Oh, Lean Beef Patty was at the Arnold. She was doing like fan meetups at different booths. And I didn't wait in line to see her because I hate waiting in lines, but I walked by and her arms looked really jacked. And now I want really jacked arms. But I also follow her on Instagram and YouTube and I watch her content. So, I mean, I already knew that her forearms looked really cool. I'm trying to just hold it until I feel like I'm going to drop it because I don't want to actually drop it. 
I just put it down. One saw Jason Statham at the airport, and he winked at you. I, I will say, like, when I saw Lean Beef Patty in person, I mean, she she was wearing, like, a, kind of a loose tank top, and her arms were out, but, like, you couldn't see her abs or anything. And her arms, just hanging out, looked super jacked. So, I, I kind of talked about it earlier. I was impressed because I feel like when I'm just standing around, you just see me existing out in the world. I don't think that I look particularly muscular, like visibly muscular. I don't think I look very visibly muscular. You, you know, if I'm wearing like a t-shirt or even if I have a tank top, my arms aren't super defined and part of it is i don't really do a ton of arm training and part of it is my you're heading out rko okay see you next time bro thanks for hanging out another part of it is my arms are super long so it's really difficult for me to like actually get the size of them up i mean i th i think that they are arguably on the bigger side but like they're not well defined she was like sitting there existing with really well defined arms so i am sure that there is some amount of like editing and post-production on her like instagram and her videos and like all of that but i was impressed by how visibly lean and muscular she looked in person you couldn't watch oh you couldn't watch guardians of the galaxy 3 because it was too sad it was very sad it was a tearjerker but i thought it was good i liked it And you see, you flex my tricep. See, the thing is, you like you can't see it very well. Oh my god, that gives me a cramp. Oh, I I cried a lot, but I also watched it at home. Yeah. I also have a, br a bright ass light, so like if I turned off the light, maybe you can see a little better. But like I'm, I'm saying like I'm also like I'm not very lean right now. But like my trice, my arms are just not that defined. I thought it was good. I enjoyed watching it. It's definitely a tearjerker, unless you're a sociopath, of course. Just the huge. I mean, I'm certainly more lean than the average uh, lady of my stature, but compared to Lean Beef Patty, I'm not that lean. Sometimes you love when a movie makes you cry or makes you really angry. It means he did something right making it. My thing is, like, I can, I, I know that it's a good movie when that happens, obviously, because it elicited some kind of feelings but this, maybe this is me being a sociopath again maybe i'm the serial killer i do not like to live i don't like to have strong feelings i don't i like to exist just like baseline okay shit you know baseline pretty good without being like super all over the place with my emotions you can lose weight but not the fat so you have to lose the weight then the fat so that's why you only want to lose fat which just so happens to help you lose weight i am five seven but then i can't remember how much that is in centimeters off the top of my head
you hate cringing when a cringe moment happens oh my god if you oh i i really don't like movies um the okay this was arguably arguably a pretty good movie but i felt i don't like movies that make me like really uncomfortable in like a bad way so what is the movie called some something about no your son one seventy it's like one seventy c m fucking no, it's a movie with Ezra Miller something and I don't really like Ezra Miller. Something about Kevin. That's what the name of the movie is called. Oh, or no, we need to talk about, we need to talk about Kevin is the name of the movie. Also has Tilda Swinton in it. The movie is, we need to talk about Kevin with Ezra Miller and Tilda Swinton. And John C. Riley is in it too. I forgot about that. He was the dad. That movie made me incredibly uncomfortable in a in a bad way i did not enjoy watching it but i can understand why it's a pretty good movie because it made me feel some type of way you know what i'm saying so so I don't I'm not sure what you mean, Hotep, when you say that you can lose weight but not the fat. But if somebody is in a calorie deficit without working out without doing resistance training and without focusing their food intake on protein keeping your protein high um most of the time your body will probably lose some amount of muscle it will prioritize the muscle over the fat which is unfortunate because obviously that's not what you want most people will want to lose body fat and keep their muscle mass I will also say, and I don't want to assume your gender, but when it comes to, actually, well, actually, I don't think this is really dependent on general gender. Most people will lose fat in their arms and their legs, in their limbs before they lose it around their stomach and midsection and around like their glutes and stuff. So. It's like you have to be realistic about your expectations when it comes to fat loss and being in a calorie deficit. You can't spot reduce fat. You don't get to choose where you're losing your fat from. So just when it comes to like biology, people are going to lose the, the fat in their arms and their legs first because your body wants to protect your internal organs. It wants to keep them warm. It wants to keep you safe. So. A lot of times you have to force yourself to to the point where you can't really lose much else in your arms and legs and you start to lose it in the areas that you're trying to hold on to it the most. Yeah. So especially when it comes to men, you gain fat really easily kind of in your stomach and midsection kind of around this area. And that's also usually the last place that you will lose it. You know, which kind of sucks. It kind of like you hate to see it. That's where people want to lose it the most. Yeah. I mean, and for women, a lot of times it's like, you know, you always talk about how it goes straight to your hips, straight to your thighs, straight to your ass. And like, but that's where it's a lot of times the hardest, like this lower belly section, the love handles, your, your glutes and stuff like that. That's really hard for women to lose. So it's one of the reasons like right now 
I don't consider myself to be super lean for myself. Obviously, you know, we know that I'm kind of like on the leaner side when it comes to like the female population in general. But, you know, I always keep some kind of like definition in my chest and stuff because when I get fat, it usually hits me like right around here, like me in specific, like right around here, right in my stomach. You know, it's not so much in my arms or in my legs or in my chest. Like my boobs never get bigger. I just get it all in my stomach. So yeah, usually when you really want to lose fat in your stomach area, you have to force yourself into like a calorie deficit for an extended period of time to get to to get the overall fat percentage down yeah same for you yeah so i i do have friends that my, my friend misha my um she's kind of the opposite everybody's different a little bit she's kind of the opposite she kind of keeps a lot of the fat in her legs and her arms but her waist gets much smaller when she like loses some weight, which honestly is kind of like the ideal, but you don't get to pick those things. See a bit in your face when you bulked up too much, not a lot, but you can see it, yeah. I, I can tell when I lose weight, my cheeks get really like, like sucked in. And I was thinking about this the other day. Um, also, hi, Lil Trez, welcome back. I saw you, welcome in. Um, hope you're doing well. I'm spitting facts. Thank you, bruh. Uh, it's like a trend now. You see a lot of celebrities with like really like sunken in cheeks. And I'm sure that like some part of it is just getting older. You know, when you're age, you lose some of the fullness in your face. But I'm also sure that like some part of it is people getting cosmetic procedures to exacerbate it. And I'm very confused why, because that makes you look older. And for me personally, I don't want to look older. It's like you start getting that very like, I call it like the, the Disney like stepmom vibe where you're looking like like an evil stepmom. What's up, Deluce? It was, it was, you were the only person at the Arnold that recognized me that I wasn't, didn't know was gonna be there. It was like kind of crazy. Your pear shape, so all goes your butt thighs, lower waist, yeah. Yeah, I mean, that's how it is for like most women is that it's just like all, all up in here. Yeah. 100% you were the only one I was trying to be incognito though like I've gone in past years and like um I've cosplayed before and I was just like I just try to be like really low-key yeah it was it was kind of cool honestly I was kind of I'm sorry if I was like super awkward because I was not expecting to meet any fans but it, it was kind of cool yeah I also love Misha Mai I would I haven't seen her in person in a really long time. If you didn't know, uh, I don't know if I can like find her channel really quick. You thought it, no, you were literally the only one. Misha Mai is doing more stuff on the YouTube. Let me get her channel for y'all. You didn't think I was awkward. Okay, well, that's good. If you were, if you didn't know, I'm sure, most of you probably are already following Misha Mai, but she's trying to do more on YouTube. So she's dual streaming on Twitch and YouTube, and she's also doing other videos for YouTube. So I think you should check her out. I recently watched her um, cosplay hangout vlog. It was like pretty fun. Makes me miss hanging out with her, but we just like don't live that close by. Yeah, I mean, like I said, a lot, this is true for men and women, but like as you age, like you lose a lot of the fullness in your face. But for me, I'm trying to go the opposite direction. You know, I, I'm not shy about telling you that I get cosmetic procedures. I'm not doing anything like drastic right now because I, I'm more about 
preserving the way I look. I want to look the same, but I want to look the same for like a really long time. I don't want to look like a different person. So I actually get stuff done to like try to keep my face from getting too lean. So yeah, like if you want to look younger, you want to have like a fuller face not like a more like like that kind of face so yeah i'm just like i'm very confused by the trend and like i said i think some of it comes with just people getting older some of it is definitely just like plastic surgery <laughs> you'll never lose the fullness in your face because you're always stuffing it with food oh my god okay <laughs> but yeah i definitely notice like when i get leaner when i get like really lean when i get down to like 16 percent my cheeks look really like like sucked up and i'm just like oh bro it's not cute and like my i i i i'm like really bad about touching my eyes i just i like rub my eyes all the time i think i have i might have like i might have eczema or i might have like really low psoriasis or something because my face gets like really dry itchy skin especially around my eyes probably also has to do with like wearing makeup and stuff like that don't don't come for me but like i'm i'm so bad at rubbing my eyes and i have like really bad like eye bags like you can kind of see them right there sub to her patreon so you basically follow everywhere online hell yeah I love that. Thank you for supporting my friend. I remember, this is me being a cool kid. I was a follower. I knew her before she started cosplaying at all. Yeah, it's been crazy. The journey has been crazy. Love to see it. A lot of men try to make themselves look older. I see. I, I just don't understand it. I don't get it. I want to look the same or younger. Yo, a big flex. Yeah. I knew Misha Mai before she was a content creator. But <laughs> bodybuilders can look different, difficult to recognize off season because they can look like two totally different people. Yeah. The, the big difference in like body fat percentage. You ain't trying to, that, I'm saying I'm trying to look younger. I'm trying, well, no, look, I don't care about the age. I'm trying to look like myself now for as long as possible or younger, or younger. I don't wanna look older. I wanna look the same all the time or younger. Gen Z out here looking like they're in their 40s. Bro, it's, everybody's blasting fucking performance enhancing drugs, bro. How old is Sam Sulek? Man's looking like fucking... How old is Sam Sulek? He's like in his 20s, right? I think a lot of... This is the thing, right? And when you're younger, you want to look older. And when you're older, you want to look younger. And and like kids these days have access to stuff like makeup and things like that that make them look way older. Some girl on TikTok was like, so I'm 22, right? And I said, hold up. Wait, wait. They thought you were 22? Bruh. Bruh? Exactly. Yeah, grass is always greener on the other side. I'm trying to look older. You know, when I'm in Japan, I feel like I look old as fuck. No cap. Like, I think I look good. Oh, oh. A girl on 20 on TikTok said she was 22, but she looks fucking 40. Hate to see it. Hate to see it. Yeah, when I'm in Japan, I feel like I look super busted. I try not to think about it too hard. But I don't know, I don't have time for like a seven step skincare routine. 
You think I look young? Thank you. I think I look appropriately aged. <laughs> you saved the video because you want to stitch it, but you were in bed. Okay. I would get on TikTok just to watch that. You think I look young in America? I think I don't look... I think I look appropriately aged. I don't think I look too young. I also don't think I look that old either. You send it to me? Yeah, send it to me. I need the tea, bruh. I was gonna do more arms, but actually my biceps are a little sore. When I've been doing chest flies lately, I think I'm maybe I'm stretching too much because my biceps always end up being really sore. Ah, this is actually really hard. Um, I think that I am closer to the average height of Japanese men, but I have definitely seen women in Japan that are my height or taller. I, I don't think I look busted either. I, I should say, I don't think I look busted. I don't think I look bad. I think I look pretty good. I think I look appropriately aged, but I think I put this down. So the majority of people in Japan, when they are out in public, look very put together. So most women wear a little bit of makeup and have put some amount of thought into the way they dress. And the same can be said for men, at least when it comes to their clothing, they look very put together, especially in Tokyo. There's a lot of people that work corporate jobs, work office jobs and stuff like that. So you see a lot of people in like, um, sort of business attire, not super formal business attire, but you know, you see men in like button up shirts and slacks. You see women with like, uh, skirts and like blouses. So this is not really how I present in public very often. So like this for me right here, right what I'm wearing right now on my face is like 200% more effort than I put into like my everyday look when I leave the house, right? I'm usually like moisturizer, sunscreen, and I'm out. So <clears throat> it's like, for me, I feel like there's a, a big disparity in the way that I look compared to the way that most people walking around on the street in Japan look. And there's nothing wrong with that. I don't feel bad about myself. It is just a simple fact that I don't wear makeup very often when I go out. I, I just don't. I don't present very well and I don't try. <laughs> you follow that fast food recipe guy and that dude is like 26 looking 46. You're in an age where you start to worry for next year's hope you won't look too old. But for most people, they can worry at any age. You don't know. Yeah, I mean, I think that if somebody has put some amount of thought into their like skincare routine, they can extend the way they look or their youth without putting in too much effort. Like if you literally just use facial moisturizer and sunscreen when you leave the house, you'll look way better than people your age that don't. It like literally moisturizing regularly makes a big difference. Using sunscreen makes a huge difference. So I also like, I don't have very good skin. Like I get acne and I have a lot of freckles and I like my freckles, but you see a lot of people in Japan that have very like, and it's by design, you know, people wearing makeup 
just have very like smooth one color skin it's just it's just the style and i don't fit into the societal norms of japan that's fine i don't i don't feel weird about that Okay, we did not work out at all today, but if you want to work out, I put it in the description on the video. It would, I think it is one of my upper body pull days, um, where I start out with pull downs on the cable machine. And then I start out like up and down vertical like this. And then I go kind of like an incline to try to reach more of my inner back and then a low row and then rear delt flies and then some biceps i've been doing one day i will do the incline curls like i showed last week and the next day i'll do it on the cable machine with a really long stretch i let my arm get pulled all the way back and then i curl from like way back to really stretch it out so if you want a pull day workout it's in the description but i did not get around to it today does anybody have any comments, questions, or concerns before I head out? They, I mean, if you think that you're going to do incline curls with the same amount of weight that you do with like a standing curl, you're dead ass wrong. Like you will not get the same amount of weight. You won't get the same amount of reps. Like, and, and you shouldn't because you're really putting your shoulder in a more compromised position and you should be careful and not to mention the fact that you can't use any body english to get the weights up but yeah bro yeah bro i'm down to hang out it's just like i can like kind of not be at work for like the afternoon but i do still have to work we can work out after work. You can hang out here. You can, I can cook food. If you want me to cook food to dinner, I don't know if you're hanging out for dinner, I can cook food or I can cook something for lunch. I don't know, it really depends. Yeah, just message me, bro. Whatever the fuck, I'm down for whatever. I don't have any plans. I would normally work out after work on Saturday. We can work out or we don't have to. Joey, I think, said he will be home around 2 o'clock. Thumbs up emoji. Cool. Any other comments, questions, or concerns from other people? <gasps> thumbnail. We gotta do thumbnail. I forgot. Almost forgot. Thumbnail. Right at the end. <sighs> okay. Doing weird shit. Then I got I'm getting treats tomorrow so that we can give cat treats to the boys. I'm gonna cover that up. You just need to like, you need to make just like some stock pictures, bro. And just upload them onto everything. Like, you know, if, if you happen to have like a good, a good something happen where you make a funny face on the stream, like that's cool, you can use that. But you just need to have like some stock pictures. Like just do it on stream. Just do it on stream. Like for a workout stream, do it on stream. And then like screen cap it. Oh, thank you. One twenty minutes. See, I'm not. I'm like not in the posing vibe today. I don't know. You just keep forgetting. Okay, I'll try to remind you.
this is a hideous face. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I bro. That's what you get the planner for. Bro. You write it down. Helps you. Helps you remember shit. The trash be trapping. I know it's because like I can feel it when I do that. I can feel like the back of my neck or the back of my head top touching the top of my traps. Anyways, okay, that's that's enough fucking ugly faces. Yeah. Hell yeah. Thank you, Mopar. Appreciate you as always. Thank you everybody for coming to hang out while we just fucking talk shit. That's all we did today. Talk shit and fucking pick up this fat grip thingy. So I hope you guys enjoyed the stream. See, this is this is like a good look here. See, I have such an issue with bras because like, you know, you think it fits. You know, it looks good. Then you do that and it's like cutting off circulation, right? Hate to see it. It is. That's what I'm saying. Like when it's Thursday, if we're vibing, if we're hanging out, like I don't, I don't need to get a good workout in. You think so? Do you think it is? Maybe, maybe it's giving me bigger traps from just picking it up. Moosley's ugly faces. I, well. My bicep is really sore though. I am trying to do, I'm trying to do better. I'm trying not to be like, just like doing this kind of thing when I do my arms. I'm actually trying to like really work them lately. I'm, I feel like I'm trying a little harder. I'm not si sandbagging as much as I usually do. I think the Arnold, you know, re-inspired me a little bit. So that's a good thing. I've been, I've been like doing, Sometimes on a leg day, I'll be like, hey, you need to chill out. I've been having a little bit of like issue with my right hammy glute situation. So I'm just like, okay, we're not gonna go too hard today. We're just gonna have like a chill workout. And then I go too hard and I'm really fucked up the next day. Opinion of those ball weight handles. I mean, it's good grip, grip strength training if that's what you wanna do. But if you just, you got it for something else. I don't know what you even need it for. I think I want, I need a pinch block is what I want. Cause I gotta work my thumb. Cause this thing doesn't work the thumb that much. Soon I'll be able to rip a man's dick off. Anyways, okay, see you guys later.